going on guys? Bring you another video about the hurricane. I'll tell you what, man, I'm pretty impressed. There's a lot of bashers about this damn machine and a lot of crap talkers, but I tell you what, you want to get 10 guys with BR 600s, be my guest. You might as well make it 20 with fucking rakes. If you don't understand the purpose of this machine and the and the main reason I bought it. Again, it don't fit for everybody. If you want to keep the 10 grand in your pocket, be my guest. But with two guys, we can slaughter. Leaves. And right now, this time of year, it's just getting started. This is a 12 month year machine. You guys think I'm only planting the leaves with it. Dead wrong. This thing works overtime in the summer. Grass clippings, big yards, parking lots, uh, commercial warehouses, dude, tons of concrete, tons of asphalt that's got to get blown out and cleaned up. All right? Now, X3, you guys know, I put up a couple videos last year. Here's another yard, okay? Totally different situation from what we had before. The first video I put up, big yard, about an acre, dead dry, the leaves were crispy. Here's a yard. You can see the leaves, they're just starting to let loose, okay? It's cold out today. You can see my breath. 40 degrees. We just finished three and a half days of rain. Grand total, over seven inches of rain. Almost seven and a half, okay? You can see, I started this already, but you can see everything else that's here, okay? The gutters on the curb, nothing but muck. Do dirt and muck. We've got a leaf act to, to collect. There's no way in hell I can collect for at least a couple days till it dries out. Because it's a leaf vac, not a, not a wet vac. So, with that being said, I'm gonna have my guy Renzo grab the camera. I'm gonna rip around on this thing. As you guys said before in the previous video, I, there's over 200 plus comments. Most of them like, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Well, guess what, dude? I, I had the machine for 10 minutes, all right? So here, I'm gonna rip up this thing. We're gonna get it going. And again, in this yard, again, not all the yards were able to do this, but this one we're able to. This one we're able to do it. We've got a natural area in the back and that's what we're blown into. Difference, these are all small pin oak leaves. There's not a big surface area. So we're dealing with that and everything is wet. There's sticks in here from, from the storms. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. I'll show you what this thing can do. Now for the yards, for you guys that are gonna be like, whoa, there's not always natural areas. Well, guess what? We have a leaf act truck and when we line them up, suck them up, take them away, that's the way we do it. That's the way we do it in this area. We charge for it. We get paid to do it. Not everybody wants their leaves blown somewhere. Not everybody's particular with grabbing a mulch kit and mulching a pile of leaves and leaving a bunch of dust and a mound in their yards. They don't want it, they don't like it. That's fine. We have other ways around that. We do do that in some yards. Some we don't, some we do it just like this where we're able to blow it in the back. So check this out, see what you guys think. Man, look at that right there. Next account, thing's flooded. This ain't a big house. Small front, decent sized back. We've re-landscaped the back before, but this is just down the street from where we were. So seven inches of rain. That's what we got, look at the gutters, soupy. Soupy, that's what it is. <coughs> By verification, we got seven inches plus.
worth the lead.
these are also soaking wet. A lot of extra weight on So check this out. You saw that. Live, nine minutes. Now I'm telling you, this stuff was heavy. You can see I got caught up. I was pushing a damn log. I was blowing it and it got caught in the leaves. Dude, I was blowing this thing like it was no problem, dude. Look at this thing. That's a good size. All right. So this thing in wide open areas kicks ass. Now you guys are gonna say, oh man, it's not it's not that wet. How can he be on that yard if they got seven inches? Dude, I'm on top of the hill, all slopes down. Right? I was pushing sticks, wet leaves. You see how wet that shit is? Right? I got acorns everywhere I'm pushing. This thing will move some material. Now but that being said, it is still wet. The ground's wet. But this yard, it's hard as a rock. It's hard as a rock all the time. You can see how big it is. Just bigger, about three quarter acre. Okay, it's wide open. It's a double lock, house is on that side. We're on this side. So the street, like I said, it was nothing but muck. This thing kicked tail, man. For you guys to think, you know what? I could have four dudes with backpacks and, and somebody pushing a little a, a billy goat, nine horsepower, whatever. Dude, you're, you're missing the point. I could come here with two dudes, kick tail all day, and move material. Now, this is only, we've been going this morning, this is only the second time we've gotten it out all day. We've been backpacking everything, and dude, you can't push it. Echo 770s, dude, you can't push it. It's too heavy. The leaves are soaked. They're not all on the ground, but they are soaked. We could throw those back there. Um, they're soaked. So, yes, you gotta go slower. I know this. I only use the right side, because with this machine, you can go left, front, and right. Your primary with the most power is going to be on the right. Now, this, this yard I've been doing for years, we've backpacked it, it sucks. We've got the Billy Go push blower, it still sucks. We got this thing, we, get th we make things happen. Now you only saw about, you saw the 10 minutes of footage blowing it from half the yard and up. It probably took us another eight to get it where it was because we had to get it around 
the driveway and the mailbox and off the curb. And like I said, the curb was nothing but the curb was nothing but soup. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm pushing water. But in the end, here I'll let I'll let you talk, Renzo. Hold on, turn it off. So Renzo started with me this spring. This is his first fall with me. He's worked with other people before. He's a, a would you say you're a steel guy? Yes. All right, you like steel, okay? Steel guy. Like steel. BR 600, you, you had one, own one, right? Yeah, I had a six and a seven. Okay. We've always run, I always run Echo the 770s. Mm -hmm. I told you about this machine. We've used it. Everybody says, oh, it's trash, 10 grand for four weeks of work. Would you totally disagree with them? Oh, yeah. And by the way, this is off the cuff. I haven't tell, told him to say anything. Is this a four-week year-round machine, or does this thing go all year-round on all our accounts? Oh, this is year-round. I can do accounts by myself. <laughs> or you by yourself, which has happened multiple occasions this year. What do we, what do we use it for in the summertime? Townhomes, uh, very large sidewalks. Instead of having to walk it all, it'll take... Well, it will take you about 15 minutes to walk. The gutters and sidewalks will take him about two or three on that machine. 13 minutes right there. It's called 10 minutes. Do that 15 times a day. Mm -hmm. That's almost two hours. That's two hours. Yeah. Hour 20. Helps on the legs too. 120 minutes, two hours. How many more counts are you gonna get done? How are you gonna feel at the end of the day? If you want to walk out here with six dudes with BR600, be my guest. Walk out with 12 with leaf rakes. <laughs> I don't care. Right? Renzo sees it every day. You guys are commenting. Oh, this machine, this machine. That thing's a beauty is what it is. I'll tell you what. <laughs> anybody want to come down to Atlanta, bring your BR600s, bring your EBZ 8500s. We'll come out on a yard just like this, wide open. You can bring two or three people. I'll show up with Renzo and he'll stand there strictly for moral support. <laughs> I'll get on this and we'll blow that thing out. And I can guarantee I'm going to finish faster than you. I can guarantee it. But also while we're finished, my legs are going to be fresh. I'm going to be ready to go do 15 more. <laughs> right? And the four of you are going to be like, oh man. So. All right, so I didn't make this video to trash anybody or to crap on anybody, but every day I get multiple comments on this machine. Some people wanted updates and what, how it works now for, compared to last year because we haven't had any leaves like this. I just want you guys to open your eyes and see there is a difference in this machine and that there is a place for it. It may not be for you, but it is for me. And Potentially some of you guys may not know about this machine Because there's a lot of changes going on. I didn't go to the GIE, but I knew that Briggs had bought out hurricane before And it's now under the Billy goat line. So these things aren't gonna look red like this no more They're orange with a big old Billy goat sticker. So if You guys got questions comments leave them below if you guys ain't subscribed get subscribed I'm gonna put out some more videos like this coming out once uh, some more leaves come down Sorry, I'm holding it. The uh, And we'll get this figured out. But again, I repeat, I'm not here to trash anybody about people leave comments, you're doing it wrong. Well, you, you just say you do it wrong. Well, what do you think is the right way? Okay, because there ain't no wrong way. You just get the job done, right? So some people have never seen it before. Some people may be thinking about a machine like this. Some people may not have the wallet size to get a machine like this and that's cool but this is i can tell you a 12 month machine leaves this time of year kills it if we had to backpack this yard how long is it going to take us 45 minutes between the two of us 45 to an hour yeah we did it we did it in just under 20 minutes so there you go so check it out again i appreciate you guys watching this you guys got any questions, comments, leave below. Till next time, be good.